coming. Do your worst. Brutally effective. Wonderful. Another foe vanquished. Let us continue on our way. I've been summoned to the palace. Look after things while I'm gone, will you? Sir! Seems the prince was as good as his what? They've left the place lovely and vulnerable, eh? But not completely unguarded. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled for more soldiers. Plus, we don't know when he'll be coming back. Let's get in there and get out with the crystal as quick as we can. Yes, we must hurry.
Stay focused. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, pal. Huh. Hardly worth the bother. To worry about. Come on, get it here! That'll do nicely. Did you underestimate the powers, us? huh?
This must be the room Annie Hell told us about. Which means there's a keyhole somewhere behind these books. Might we have found the crystal at last? Only one way to find out.
Sorry, pal. Huh. Hardly worth the bother. Water crystal. It looks a little different from the wind crystal. Its power is being drained. If this continues... That will be quite far enough, thank you. Bernard? There's no way you made it back from the palace that quickly. I must say, robbery really is an awfully unbecoming habit for a princess. Says the man who stole the crystal from my people in the first place. <laughs> but that is what I do, dear princess. I take what I want, and no one can stop me. Then, once I have taken something, it is mine. And it stays mine. Neither you nor anybody else can take it back. How dare you! You presume to claim ownership of the crystal? You who cannot begin to imagine its purpose. Even my patience has its limits, thief. This light, I am that which flows, that which purifies, that which Immerses. I am water. The power whose favor your grandfather did enjoy. My grandfather? You mean this is the crystal's blessing? The very same. You are the last of the line of Musa. You are the one. The only. Should you choose to seal away the Knight's Nexus, step forth into the crystal's glow. Embrace your destiny. Your fate is... You would hear no more. I need not. I know full well the duty that awaits me. I shall not turn back. I shall not retreat. Forward. Only forward. You accept your destiny. Of course. Then I will say only one last thing. Though your grandfather accepted his destiny before you, the path he chose did not enable him to fulfill it. What does that mean? 
You must find that out for yourself. I will be watching, daughter of Musa. <sighs> that light. Gloria, did you? I did. The light of the water crystal is with us. Now, to battle. Endless, priceless water at no cost whatsoever. The crystal is quite literally a money machine. No entrepreneur in their right mind would give up a golden goose like that. There's only one way you're getting it. By prizing it from my cold, dead hands. No! Oh, still standing! Sing the heart. <laughs> Let me at him! It's my time to shine! Prepare to be blown away! All right! The tide of battle is with us! Now, let me see! Power before the might of the Earth! Oh. Well, what did you think? Hey, let's get you five stones. Thanks for your help. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> That's bad, eh? Sorry to be a pain. Take this. Here I go. For it. Let me see. I hope this helps. Okay, what's the plan? Better cover up. <laughs> Allow me. I'm up, huh? Nothing like the long game. Well, what's next, I wonder? There's more than one way to skin a car. How's about this, then? Let me see. Here I go. Okay then. Huh. Oh, I'm going all in.
Hey, let's get you packed up. I'm not done yet. No big deal. I'm up, huh? Yeah, I'm all set!
guess it's my turn. Okay. Huh. I have to protect myself. Let's knuckle down. Huh. I'll sit this one out. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! It is time. <laughs> Dip it away. Take this. Huh. Safety boss. All right then. Take this. <laughs> That's better, eh? Phew. Let me see. Place, you know, but I don't for one second believe that you did it without help. It was anyhow, wasn't it? I knew it. I knew that filthy urchin couldn't be trusted. Not content with wrinkling noses left and right with that monstrous stench of hers, she goes and adds betrayal to the list. Well, that settles it. Once I'm done with you, she's next for the chop. Hey, you okay? Huh. Here, try this. Sorry to trouble you. That'll do it. Here I go! It is time! Uh, I'll be uh, you You're mine! <laughs> you can rely on me! How thoughtful of you! Sorry to be a pain! Ow! Very well! Yourself. It's now or never! Ah. Ah. That was not ah. I'm up, huh? Hard work is always rewarded. Another step in the right direction. I wonder what's next for me.
It's over. Impossible. It can't end here. Stop it, Bernard. Just stop. Anna? Uh -huh. Please. You have to stop being bad. Who asked your opinion, girl? Why should I listen to you after you stab me in the back? Honestly, I don't know why I bother. They all fail me in the end. I... I'm sorry, Bernard. But I... Ah! Oh, shut up and make yourself useful for once! Enough. Prince Castor! Sorry, Fifi Pants. There's nowhere left to run. Now, if you would be so kind as to hand over the crystal. Aye. And we'll have your asterisk off you while we're at it. Well, that's sad then. You're surrendering. Good. It's not too late for you, Bernard. <laughs> What's so funny? Surrender? Me? Are you out of your minds? When I say, that's that, hmm. I mean for you and your friends. What do you mean? You've been led by the nose every step of the way. And by none other than your dear friend, Prince Castor. Your Highness! This can't be true, can it? How priceless. Did you think the handsome prince had arrived on his white horse to save the day? I do hate to disappoint you. Bravo, your highness. Or rather, your majesty. No! Ah! What? Curse you! Caster, what did you just do? I did as you saw. Rid the realm of a thief and a villain. But as we will learn, though departed, Lord Bernard can still be of use. Arrest them. They are to be tried for the murder of Lord Bernard. Throw them in the dungeons. Sire. You had designs on the crystal all along, didn't you? I did. And Bernard, being Bernard, made it all too easy. I must thank you all for the part you have played. Oh, we've been played all right, like a blessed fiddle. I'm afraid you have. But try to think of it as fate taking its inevitable course. Get them out of my sight. There will be no need for that. We will come quietly. Prince Castor. Some say that, far from being inevitable, it is our actions that steer the course of fate. You would do well to remember that. The water crystal really is an object of surpassing beauty. Its bold blue glow is so far removed from the arid barrenness of the desert. This surely is the power that will bring our land to life again. Yes, this is a prize worth any cost. Even the destruction of Musa. All that remains now is to silence those fools on the Council of Elders. It is I, the King, who will decide the fate of the realm from now on. I am no other! People of Savalon! I, your lord and master, grant you the blessing of water! <laughs> A 
It's no good. There's no way out. We know that, so stop wasting your energy and sit still. Wonder how Anyhow's doing. I guess the best we can hope for is that they threw her in a cell too. And here I was thinking traveling with the one and only Princess Gloria might keep me out of trouble for once. So much for royal privilege, eh, your highness? Princess Gloria? Of Musa? Prince Pollux? Is that you? But what are you doing locked up down here? Prince Castor said you were off exploring the world. If only that were true. Alas, my brother has deceived you. I have been a prisoner here for many days now. Gosh, what's happened to him? <sighs> he has not been the same since he came into possession of a certain strange stone known as an asterisk. He has one too, huh? Where did he get it? I am not sure. He mentioned having received it from a traveler of some description. A traveler? But never mind that. What was my brother thinking sending you, of all people, down here to rot, your highness? And how is everyone finding the dungeons? It's him. Prince Castor. Please, I have to know. Why did you steal the crystal? Why? Because I wanted it, of course. Is that not perfectly obvious? Our country is a barren desert, barely able to grow enough to support itself. So it was only natural that I coveted the crystal. I must protect my realm, my people. And to think that fool Bernard thought to keep it for himself. We were so lucky that you arrived here when you did, Princess Gloria. Just in time to sacrifice yourself for the sake of Savalon by allowing us to silence you once and for all. What? Damn it. We need to get out of here. I'll let you out. Anyhow. My friend here found the key. One second. Thank you, Anihal. My friends are in danger. You have to save the city. We will. But if we're gonna do that, we'll need you to look after Prince Pollux for us. Can you do that, Anihal? Please, Princess Gloria. Help my brother. He is not himself. We will, Your Highness.
Let's see what you're made of, eh? Very well. Ah, yes! My might knows no bounds! What's next, I wonder? Ha, ha, ha! Away, fire your heat! Almighty ice! Away, fire your heat! Eat sorcery! Huh. Hardly worth the bother. Master! How, how dare you? Your Highness, I shall summon the guard at once! There will be no need for that. I think I can manage a few escaped criminals. But, but your Highness... Are you deaf, Dromed? Or simply stupid? But neither, your Highness. When will you learn to keep your mouth shut, hm? Now make yourself useful. Return to your chambers and add the following to the annals. The noble prince smote the wicked interlopers, hell-bent on his senseless murder, with ease. You can do that much, I assume? We must ensure that the story of our realm remains an inspirational one, after all. What changed you so much, Prince Castor? You never used to be like this. And what would you know? You who lived a charmed life in a kingdom of plenty? I have done what I had to do. For my realm. For my people. And what thanks did I get? None! And all the while the elders grew fat, and my father did nothing for fear of losing their favor. The desert encroached ever further, and all anyone could think of was themselves. Then she appeared, and gave me the gift of the asterisk. But never mind that now. Oh, mighty stone! Lend me your strength! I care not what the cost might be! Prince Castor! May the Asterisk's power lay low all who dare to stand in my way! I will relinquish the crystal to no one! No one! You think all that water is bad for the city? 
It is nothing compared to what Drought would do! Nothing! We need the crystal more than anyone! And now that I have made it mine, none shall take it from me! Ah. Prepare to meet your maker! Spirit, save me! 
Oh, thanks for bailing me out. All right, then. Easy does it. <laughs> I'm up, huh? Okay, I'm up. set! This. 
will do it. I shall endeavor to return the favor. <laughs> That's bad, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Here I go. Okay. Interesting. Enough, Caster. Hand over the crystal. Never. Why must you insist on standing against me? I could change Savalon. I could save it. Look outside the city. What do you see? Nothing but sand. Sand and more sand. And the waterways? What little relief they provide soon dries up. You saw the ruins. The same fate awaits us too. But I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to roll over and die. <sighs> Perhaps fate agrees that my course is a just one. What? Your Highness! We heard the commotion and came as quickly as we could. Thank goodness you are here! Help me! You must help me! They were trying to kill me! 
Princess Gloria? How did you escape the dungeons? Quickly! The prince is in danger! Uh, what do we do now? Think of something, Elvis! Well, uh, suddenly my ideas are worth listening to. And um, what miraculous something do you expect me to think of exactly? Crikey! Would you look at that? Father! Why do you refuse to listen? We cannot let this opportunity pass us by! The opportunity of invading an allied nation? Boy, have you gone mad? It ill becomes a Prince of Savalon to allow himself to be convinced of such nonsense by one such as this. Well, really. I have simply advised the Prince of the best course of action if he wishes to save our beloved realm. Do you not see, Father? Once the crystal is ours, Savalon will flourish! Dromed, lay down your pen. I would not have what is to follow besmirch the records. <clears throat> I have no idea what has got into you lately, Castor, but this behavior must cease. Perhaps a period of contemplation would do you good. Men, escort the prince to his chambers. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go, curse you! Castor! Your, your Highness, please, compose yourself! Not just stop me! Not just stand in my way! Your Majesty, you must escape quickly! Yes! Come back here! You will not escape me! Because <laughs> You... Oh. <sighs> well, this is quite the pickle we find ourselves in, Your Highness. Do not try my patience. Of course. Worry not, dear Prince. I am sure we can find a way to smooth things over. Pray that you can, for the sake of your head. Yes, yes. There is, however, the small matter of the... position we discussed. Dromed! Yes, Your Highness. Let the record state that my father is missing, and destroy any evidence that might suggest otherwise. But... Your Highness! All is for Savalon's salvation. The crystal must be ours. And in order for that to happen, Bernard must become an elder. Make it so. Very well, Your Highness. Right away. It... It was his own fault! What... What was that? Y Your Highness! Was that...? Did you...? No, no, wait. Do, 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 do you not trust your prince? It, it was mere trickery. A cheap ploy to besmirch my name. Look! Enough, Your Highness. The game is up. What do you mean? To continue with this pretense would be simply to pile one crime upon another. I... I falsified the official records. I thought it best for you and for our nation. But I was wrong. The vision you saw was the truth. The king died by Prince Castor's hand. But oh, wait! There's been a mistake, a, a, a misunderstanding. I'm innocent! You doubt me? You, my, my, my loyal subjects! We simply wish to know the full story, Your Highness. Please, come back inside. Uh, no, wait, 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 please! Castor! Well, don't just stand there! Quickly! Princess Gloria, how can we ever begin to apologize? There is nothing to apologize for. The crystal has been recovered. 
That is all that matters. <sighs> Please, think no more of my brother. He murdered our father and stole a priceless treasure from a trusted ally. His actions were unforgivable. He said he got the asterisk from some kind of traveler, right? Indeed, uh, and it was from the same traveler that he learned of the crystal. Do you know anything about who they were? Only that it was a woman. Uh, none of us got close enough to discern any more than that. Hmm. What's going to happen to Dromit? He has asked that he be imprisoned. He has also tendered his resignation as record keeper to the court. But our nation has need of his wisdom. I hope that in time, all will be as it once was.
The water is receding. Praise be to the heavens! Looks like the effects of the crystal are starting to wear off. Yes. I have suppressed its power, for now. I hope this will suffice until we can return it to its rightful place. It's Anihal! Hey, Anihal! You doing okay? Yes. My friends are with me. I'm fine. Anihal? I did not have a chance to thank you properly last time. Thank you so much for healing my little friend. I... I was wondering if you wanted to come to my house and play with us one day. What? I... I'd love to. Thanks again, Anihal. We'll see you soon. It's lonely without Bernard. But thanks to you, I know I'm not alone. Are you leaving? Yep. Afraid so. We have more crystals to find. Oh. About those. I think I saw one? In Wiswold. When I was there with the circus. Wiswold, you say? You know the place, Elvis? <laughs> yeah, pretty well. He was born there. Where in Wiswold did you see it, kiddo? On top of a tower in the middle of a city. I didn't see it up close. But the way it was glowing, it was the same. Alright. Looks like we know where we're headed next. Dear old Wiswold, eh? Humans who found Truff's ring. Truff? Is that you? Yes! Oh, thanks again for helping Truff out when he met you before. <gasps> You're more than welcome, old pal. I see seeing you again, eh? What are you doing out here anyway? Truff uh, needs to get through. But the tree is blocking Truff's way. Yeah, I can see that. But we're headed that way too, to Wiswald. Truff tried to do something about it, but he's too hungry. He could do it on a full stomach, though. Huh. It sounds like we need to get you something to eat. Yes, please. A schnitzel, please. Uh, what? Sorry? Truff wants a schnitzel. Wow, that's specific. Truff's human friend cooked one for him once. It's been his favorite ever since. Truff went to Savalon to try and buy one. 
But the humans there said monsters aren't allowed to buy schnitzels. <laughs> Truff is so hungry, <laughs> so weak. And talking about schnitzels is making it worse. Juicy, tender meat wrapped in crispy, crispy breadcrumbs. <laughs> A dinner to die for. <laughs> you certainly make it sound appetizing. Aye, you've quite a ton of culinary phrase for a monster, eh? Stop it! You're making my stomach grumble. <laughs> Sounds like we better go find a schnitzel before everybody goes crazy with hunger. <laughs> Could human friend make sure Truff's schnitzel is smeared with lovely jammy jam too? Uh, sure. W why not? Schnitzel. Oh yes, it is a local speciality. Veal schnitzels are the most common, but other meats are also used. The innkeepers are reputed to be particularly delicious. I am sure he would be happy to prepare one for you. you say. Yes, I have been known to serve this dish on occasion. I don't suppose you could make one for us now, with some jam, ideally? Certainly. One moment, please. There. One schnitzel with jam. Thank you very much. You don't know how happy this is gonna make somebody. Okay. Let's take Truffy's treat before it gets cold.
still hanging in there, Truff? Uh, Truff is hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Not for much longer. We brought you a schnitzel. <laughs> yes, Truff can smell it. Wonderful, magical. A whole schnitzel just for Truff. Can, 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 can Truff eat it now? Right now? Go right ahead. <laughs> you really were starving, eh? All done! Oh, it was divine! You're feeling a little stronger now? Oh, yes, much stronger. Strong enough to deal with stupid, silly trees. We'd be most grateful if you could. Here goes! All done! All gone! Can go through now! That's great, Truff. We'd have been pretty stuck without your help. <laughs> Stop it! Human friend is making Truff blush! Well, you may not be much of a fighter, but you sure are strong, huh? Uh, secret is not <laughs> brute strength. Truff has a knack. Learn the knack, and human friends can do it too! <laughs> Like that, right? Yes, exactly. Nice. Thanks, Truff. Happy days, eh? No tree's gonna stand in our way now. Truff needs to go now. Still searching for the owner of that ring? Yes. Truff is looking for a cold place. Human friend who saved Truff talked often about snow. So if Truff can find snow, maybe Truff can find friend. Thank you for the schnitzel. It was oh, delicious. Goodbye for now, human friends.
forces consume you! A mere scratch. Hmm, what's the plan? Not much further now. We're in spitting distance of the old homeland. You're not your usual talkative self, Elvis. Something wrong? Aye. The place looks... different. It does, doesn't it? I'm sure there weren't this many trees last time we were here. Which would suggest the influence of the Earth Crystal. So... you've been to Wizwell before, huh, Adele? Yep. It's where I met our annoying friend over there and agreed to head off with him to who knows where. Aye, I was desperate to set off on my adventures, but I hadn't the first clue what to do out on the road. So, I hired this one as my personal bodyguard. She happened to be in town at the time. It seemed like it might be fun at first, but it's been nothing but headaches ever since. I can only imagine. Hey, eh? You cheeky so-and-sos. <laughs> Lord Commander. Hmm? Ah, Marla. Well, make your report. Prince Castor is dead. His younger brother has taken the throne in his place. Bernard is also dead. And the record keeper, Dromed, is stepping down. The situation in Savalon is highly unstable. But, there is a bigger problem. What is it, spit it out? The Water Crystal. Princess Gloria has it. My apologies. It matters little. The Water Crystal is of no concern. Nevertheless, I take full responsibility. Forgive me, Lord Commander. And you, Edna? Things are going exactly as planned, Lord Commander. Your scheme is as perfectly conceived as ever. Spare me your crawling. 
Continue as you are, and do not fail me. A little longer now, and my dream will be a reality. I leave matters in your hands until then. You do me a great honor, Lord Commander. Infernal woman! She will not monopolize my master's affections for long.